Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jab Skywalker, but you can call me Jabs. Welcome to my new gaming series called The Good, The Bad, The Future, where I essentially play a game for a little bit, talk about the good stuff about the game, the bad stuff about the game, and what needs work and what I see for this game going forward. Today we're going to be talking about Omega Shrikers. It's a free to play game on Steam that's just released less than a week ago. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Let's start with the good. And there's a lot of good about this game, guys. Omega Strikers is essentially League of Legends meets Rocket League. And yes, you heard that right. The characters are all so unique and interesting. And I instantly fell in love with the color design of both the characters and the map itself. Not to mention the characters actually speak with each other too. Coming for you, Kai. And these characters aren't just for show. Each one unleashes powerful attacks to help you score goals while in game. You can also customize your perks on each character to have them play like you want to. Another good thing about this game is the ability to choose whether you want to be primarily a goalie or a forward before even searching for a match. There are also tons of emotes who can spam during matches to really show sportsmanship or piss people off. You can also customize your profile pretty well as well. Okay, let's get into the bad now, because although there are little bad things I notice with the game, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. First, I'm going to start with the mechanics, guys. Although for the most part, hitting the puck around the map does seem smooth, there are times where I feel like my abilities are not releasing fast enough for the type of game this is. I would rather have it be instant since you have the potential to lose a round as soon as the match starts. This isn't a lagging issue guys, my internet is hardwired and very fast and I think this is just a game mechanic that just needs a little work, I know the game is in beta. Another small bad thing I notice is it's not simple to add friends or recent players as friends. Now I do understand the game is in beta, as I said it before, this is an easy fix. So, so far, those are the only major bad things I really notice about the game. Alright, now let's journey into the future for this game, Omega Strikers. I think this game has a bright future ahead, guys. The game already has its next characters it's going to add, and the dates of their release already lined up in the character selection screen. I see this game continuing to grow in popularity and having a pro scene. And the main reason I say this is because people are looking for something new and different when it comes to gaming. And now I think that is Omega Shri Strikers. It fits that criteria. I mean, come on, it's literally league on an air hockey field. The game is prepared to grow and I'm excited to see where it's going to be in six months. And that's a wrap to the good, the bad, the future featuring Omega Strikers, guys. This was the first video in the series. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. What are your favorite things about the game, your least favorite, and what do you see for the game? future let me know all of that in the comment section below and please leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see further videos featuring omega strikers and just the good the bad the future for other games but until then guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope the best of your todays are the worst of your tomorrows peace